Hey guys, Mubarak here of Penny Stock. Hope you're doing well. In this episode, I want to go over how to analyze the proper ICO sales or tokens that are coming up now in 2022. And we're going to be using this one, safewages.co.uk, as an example. All right. So I'm going to run through which metrics and which concepts to go over. And then we're going to go into detail about how to analyze it, how to understand it, and what this actually means. All right. So Right off the bat, the website is the number one key indicator of how serious these guys take themselves, right? This company, this team, what are they doing? What are they focused on? And so it's pretty good here. They have a good build out of it. If you can see, these are pretty much the specific uh, concepts and focuses we're going to have. And so it works out pretty well. They at least understand what avenues they need to cover as a crypto ICO or token sale. And so let's get a little bit more into it. Now, one of the things here is they go right into kind of the benefits or the the benefits of their token. So it's a very interesting approach. I mean, it's definitely probably a someone at the marketing helm because what they're trying to do right here is entice you into understanding and being in a good position for this um, for this launch. So Right away, safe, their liquidity was locked at launch and no one can touch it, meaning you're not going to have to worry about the rug pull stuff. Uh, assuming assuming what they're saying is true, right? And let's always go in with positive intent and see wh what's actually going on. But assuming they're going to be actually you know, sticking to their word, they have a good initial box of information. Rewarding, they're talking about their reward token BUSD, so it's good they identify it right away. And they talk about a 25% reflection on each sale, and we're going to go into that in a second. Um, you can earn it by holding it in your wallet, that's the concept of staking or yield farming, which we'll go into. And um, now, this is important right here this audit and KYC. KYC stands for know your client, know your customer. Um, we have done KYC with Fungi Dow and our smart contract is audited. So in you know, going back to the basics, the smart contract is the underlying technology upon which this entire project or which entire kind of cryptocurrency or token is housed, right? So that's kind of the in innovative technology that a cryptocurrency or a token brings to the table. And that is why it's such an important technology. However, the thing to keep in mind of though is that it needs to be an actual it's, it's code right so there needs to actually be a systematic and, and properly set up code so an audit as always you know it's funny because i'm a cpa so you know we're responsible for audits but not in this case like this is a security audit it's more of an it audit um and essentially what they're checking for is making sure that the back end code uh is set up in the way that you know, you're not going to have to worry about security vulnerability. So the adult result, the audit sorry, result is passed and it focuses on the security of the contract. So they try to ensure the reliability and correctness of their smart contract, meaning they're actually going to end up doing what they're saying that they do. They tell you about how they test it. What's the auditing approach and methodologies. So, you know, you'll start as you go through them, you'll see that they end up having a very similar format, a lot of these audits. And I know there's a bunch of different companies now that are performing these. So it's cool how this whole kind of industry came about, but they're just gonna go over. This is very, you know, if you're an engineer or like, like a software engineer, you'll probably understand this stuff, but this is all just referring to different um, code tests and backend, um, you know, coding infrastructure of the actual system of itself. So. Uh, just important to know and keep an eye on and then easy to buy. Okay, good. It can be bought through a pancake swap. So that's pretty good. That's one of the kind of main like a sushi swap, uni swap, pancake swap. So that means that's how you're able to get it. So eventually in the future, you know, the real ways that I've seen a lot of these cryptocurrencies and tokens pop is, you know, they start off on a uni swap, a pancake swap or so, but the real way that they're going to pop and go up in value is when they get listed on an official exchange like a Coinbase. You know, that's almost like if you consider it or if you equate it to today's world of like, you know, stocks and companies going public like a Facebook going public or an Uber going public. Um, no, that's so that's known as going public on 
the NASDAQ, right? Or the New York Stock Exchange. Like the NASDAQ is like the holy grail of initial public offerings. And so uh, getting a listing or getting your token listed on an exchange like Coinbase would be the equivocation of that. So this is again going into some of the features, what are the rewards that they're held. And so what you really want to understand though is that what is, and, and, and now we're getting into the roadmap, what is the functionality and focus of this? So they have it broken out here. Phase one was just all the back end stuff, getting everything set up, the website, the social media, the white paper, which we're going to go into uh, in a second. I have it pulled up and I'll show you exactly how to access it. And now phase two, now this is where they're actually focusing on their proper kind of um, marketing. They're going to be listed on Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko, Advanced Marketing, Certic Audit. So now this is the next level of kind of the phase of their launch, right? Um, and they're going to actually have their own wallet and NFT marketplace. So that's very interesting. That's like, uh, that's that's pretty much the direction they're going to go. And I hope to see more about this NFT marketplace in this. So remember, as I'm going through these, I'm just choosing safe wages as like, a, this could be any crypto, right? What I'm trying to highlight is what things you need to look out for what things are important to you, and how do you analyze and find the right ICOs? Because there's a ton, a ton popping up. You know, I say this, I've said this in the last couple of videos too, but back in 2015, 16, 17, when I got into this, there was probably a new ICO like a week or so, or like one, a couple of week. Now there's like 10 a day coming out. And so you need to be able to distinguish the garbage between what's real. So the thing I really like here is that this is something that I haven't seen pretty often and this shows that they've kind of really put some thought into so I just taking a sip of my coffee but um get really putting a real focus into what is the benefit as a holder so the BUSD token is what you want to calculate and what you are going to be focused on and they'll actually tell you if you fill in like the amount of tokens and the daily volume what is the re revenue you can get for holding it so pretty cool concept here now right off the bat they also just go into the faqs and the funny thing is that these guys are true crypto kind of traders in terms of or like investors or they're they're on the engineering side and then they're also on like the um promotion like financial side of it and the way i know that is because these are all the questions that you as an investor or a trader want to know about, right? How to add it to your wallet, where you can get it, how you can claim rewards, what can you do with it in your wallet? Why is there dips even? Like, you know, this is usually, this is about a, a, a trading company or so. So, um, you know, how do you sell it, right? Usually a lot of times you'll see FAQs going over about like the actual about us, about the company or about the product and stuff. So, here, finally, the last most important thing before we get into the white paper and kind of break that down is just getting access to, and I'll be linking to these in the description below, but all of the different channels, right? You want to be able to stay on top of them. You want to be able to understand how they're engaging in the kind of crypto world, to say. So here you go. This is the actual roadmap, or sorry, the white paper. And again, all of these are broken up here up top. So you can click into any of these or go down, or if you click on the white paper, that's what opens up to a new link. But all of this stuff was just broken down here. And this uh, this join us now takes you to the Telegram group here. So you can kind of, you know, there's 230 online, it goes into it, goes into the website, so you can view all that. But I do want to just, uh, you know, you, you have to, have to, have to go into the white paper. And so the white papers always look different. There's different... Um, layouts or styles like this is just a very new concept that everyone just kind of got on board with but you know it's not like any companies prior to the blockchain world ever came out with a white paper but everyone's trying to kind of copy the initial you know satoshi like the founder of bitcoin and this is where this whole concept essentially emerged out of so not a not, you know they need to have one if, if any company if any project does not have a white paper or it's not linked properly or anything. That's a massive red flag. So this is what you'll go through to understand and get an intro to the team, understand who's involved, understand what it was actually built for. So it tells you what it's going to be set up for. It's looking to revolutionize the decentralized world. We're more than just a DeFi token. Um, 
they tell you about their mission, their focus. Tokenomics is also very important because it tells you the actual allocation of what they're doing um, and how they're reflecting it. So you want to go over these items and stuff. But that pretty much covers it. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or you can reach out to us at admin. That's A-D-M-I-N at impennystock.com. Hope to hear from you guys soon. Take care.